And now we're on to 726. What, did you you just think this was going to be like a, a quit thing? Hell no. His eyes were Coke Zero Brown. Delicious. Hobbs versus Tigger to each match to the death. Say goodbye to your childhood because one, we die. Picturing two tiger plushies just kind of sitting there facing each other in the Thunderdome. Well, I am picturing it. Hobbs and Tigger would find some aspect of tigerhood to bond over. But Calvin would put Christopher Robin in the ground. Hey, I'm really sorry to bother you, but I just wanted to warn you that you follow someone on here. <gasps> this can't be true. This is the ideal bug. You may not like it, but this is what Pete performance looks like. Man, I wish that were me. Me staring down AO3. Okay, I'm desperate for fic about this pairing, but like, how desperate? You're not desperate until you're staring at fanfiction.net. Fools! You're not desperate until you're staring down an empty word document. And there it is. Sometimes I put my face up against my dog while he's sleeping to feel his little lungs expand and his little heart beat. And I am struck by the beauty of life and the miracle of nature to evolve for thousands of years just to create one little guy and put him in my house. It's beautiful, man. I know Tumblr has accepted the whole cat's internal monologue is a desolate Victorian child thing, but what if a cat's internal monologue was Golem slash Smeagol? Must have felt the dry food that serves us. We might soft juice and mosses from the Kansas. What's it doing, precious? What noises it makes with pants and mouth? We want it. With the tricks of humans does not feed us in hours, must remind them or we'll starve. Wait for dinners. Oh, no. That would kill us. Kill us. New decree, if you have a bald cat, that is their voice. You don't have to be a person anymore or right now. It is one of the greatest gifts people can ever say to me, ever. I will look up at you with such big, beautiful, dull eyes full of so much love and affection that you're giving me the ability to shed that role. Hmm. I think this is meant as a horny post, but not having to act and have the responsibilities of a person is deeply freeing. So I'm putting it here. Believe you and me. It's both horny and non-horny. There's no evidence that ghosts harm people. Economic logic. If ghosts are rational economic actors, they would have no incentive to harming living people. The cost of killing someone would likely outweigh the benefits for the ghost. The worst person you know watching horror movies. Hmm, not really getting a clear profit motive coming through here. I mean, everyone knows Pennywise killed those children because it was tax deductible, right? Pisses me off how good Shakespeare actually is. Like, yeah, he's actually that good. People hype him up like he's the best English writer ever, and yeah, he's actually an S-plus tier writer. Insane he did all that, while naming his characters shit like Count Evil Count and Peter Pennysex. I think you're just jealous you didn't come up with those names yourself. Man who opened a parenthesis he forgot to close four years ago is tragically unaware everything he's said since has been an aside. You know the problem with reading a book? You get hooked... And then it ends, and then you feel sad. This post is cancelled, I have found a new book, and everything is alright again. Like Talos, this cannot be happening. You know, I'm so glad Earth only has one moon. If there were more, I'd have to pick a favorite, and that sounds too emotionally taxing to even fathom. Hey, so if anything about this... Can only accurately reblog this edition until November 25th, 2024. This website loves a damn time limit. Achievement available. Sibling rivalry. Reblog this before our moon becomes an only child again. We have had a second moon for over a month now. Furthermore, it will be gone within the week. Why have I not seen a single picture of it online? Oh, right. It's impolite to post pictures of infants unless you're the parent. My bad. Forgot about that, guys. Sorry. How much does an Aurora Borealis weigh? <laughs> it's pretty light. <laughs> 
anime about a mythological negotiator on duty to ward off creatures from hell by convincing them to turn away with their charm and looks. Call that Demon Swayer. Is this anything? I got too excited while playing chess and told my opponent that I was going to slit his throat and slaughter him like a hog. Something to work on for next time. Was your opponent the twink you're banging? You people remember too much about me. When encountering someone stuck in an apology loop, I do not uselessly ask, or worse, demand that they stop apologizing. Rather, I have found it more useful to affect a theatrical tone and formally absolve them. Like a renaissance pope, I absolve you, my child. Usually, the combination of having the absurdity of the situation highlit, combined with a touch of psychological release, if I can get a laugh, is enough to soothe their nerves a bit and get them to break the loop. And who knows, maybe they feel absolved. I don't know, I have an authoritative bearing. This counts as a spell. It's like lay on hands, but for people with anxiety. The duality of man is thinking children cannot help themselves and we all need to be patient with them as they explore what it means to be a human in public. And also, damn, I wish this crying baby was not on the plane right now. Just as courage is not the absence of fear, but doing the brave thing in spite of it. Patience is not the absence of irritation, but doing the kind of thing in spite of it. Oh my god, it's finally in words. When people say nature is my religion, are they talking about flies that feed on shit, maggots and decomposing corpses, lioness with stained teeth and mouths full of blood? Are they talking about floods and fires and things from which we should always run? Are they talking about carcasses, rot, death? Or do they just mean this particular copse of benign trees is my religion? You cannot hug a tree without touching all the rot it took to grow it. Just remember, boys, girls, and nuns, to follow the beauty of life, you must also learn to walk with death. Director, okay, so it's a Christmas carol, but with the Muppets, so, you know, feel free to have fun with it, be a little silly. Michael Caine, I am going to play this entire thing as serious as a car accident. Now you see, the problem with the line of thinking is that it assumes that Michael Caine wasn't trying to be funny. He absolutely was. It's just that the funniest thing he could have done is to play it straight. This movie would be less funny if he was being a jokester. He's playing the straight man for all the Muppets. All of them. And that's the funniest thing he could have done. And he could do it because he is that actor who could do it for real and it'd be very serious and people would clap and say it's the best since blah, 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 blah. But doing that, being a serious, dramatic actor in a room full of Muppets, hilarious. Also, when Kane informed the director he was going to play this like the RSC, the director, Brian Henson, went, oh, good, that's exactly what I was hoping for. You are beautiful in your own warped little way. No joke with this one? Is he gone soft? I am calling you a freak, you illiterate. Ah, there it is. You know, I think I could be trusted with the book that kills people from the classic manga series. No one can be trusted with the power of the book that kills people, in my honest opinion. See, the trick is, I would only kill bad people who deserve it. Unlike the main character, guy who kills people that he thinks are bad people who deserve it. I think the, I think the trick is, is don't eat the processed potato crisp. If I ever pass away, do not unfollow me. I will be back. With the slapping of my ass. Something Baja this way blasts. All right, chat, I got a, I got a task for you. If you're playing a wizard in D&D &D or anyone who knows Thunderclap, this is your new incantation to do it. Please record results. Um, the character is banned because... Well, the writing for this character is... Shut up, they made me feel emotion. They're a good character. <gasps> there it is. These two brothers, under the age of ten, were being rowdy in the airport, and their dad calmly said, Stealth mode. And they shut right up. <gasps> Les font terrible. Why is OP French? Oh my god, you can't just ask people why they're French. That's Spanish? That's not Spanish. Everyone watching Mr. Beast's career like, Go, white boy, go! No, white boy, not like that! Why, boy, I have never seen anyone fuck it up like that! Come on!